Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Got Michelle here again. We're going to try some more sauces. Um, these are Canadian sauces. They're actually produced in Guelph, Ontario. They're very unique labels. They, do, they have cool labels. Yeah, so the first one that we're trying, they're from Salem's Lot Scary Hot Sauces. Yeah. Scary. It's not a mirror. Oh! I didn't see myself, so it didn't reflect to you. Oh, there you go. So this one is called Hallucinate the Heat. Now, you're not going to be able to see this, so I will put a picture up right here. Ta-da! Yeah, I'm hallucinating it! Uh, it's wonderful. Like it's, They're holographic uh, covers. Yeah, they are cool labels. This one is got a person kneeling in front of some fire. It looks like a, a bonfire. I'm not sure there's supposed to be some images in the fire itself. Then there's a green cloud of images above it with looks like uh, an evil witch. Evil witch and holding possibly a broomstick or stirring a cauldron or some, yeah, some cool. stick it disappears in off into the image. But hallucinate the heat. Well, it just says hallucinate in French. Yeah. So Canadian. <laughs> I'm going to. We've got to go try it. By itself, we've got some chicken nuggets to try it on. But I need to uh, grab my glasses for a moment to inspect the label. So you want to bring yours up in case there's something different on it. So she's doing the high tech thing, I'm doing the label thing. <laughs> so this one here, it's got 4% of my vitamin C. That's always good. So no OJ needed today. Um, it says, as a professional musician, I have had the opportunity to tour and visit more than 75 countries sharing my love and passion for music with many audiences. During my travels, I experienced a variety of authentic cuisines and spices, and I'm always on a mission to find the perfect hot sauce with a combination of great flavor and just the right amount of heat. With inspiration from my global travels, I share with you my creation of tasty hot sauce. Enjoy a mouthful of ouch. From Jeff Salem. Nice. I guess that's why they call him Salem Slot. Probably. Uh, the ingredients on this one, and this might have something different on the uh, webpage. I have tomatoes, white vinegar, smoked habanero peppers, lime juice, water, garlic, Pure cane sugar, sea salt, and pectin. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty close here. They have some things in a slightly different order on the website for the ingredients listing. Um, and then it just goes on to say, The sauce intensifies your taste buds. It is great on ribs, burgers, steak, pizza, pasta, soups, chicken tacos, fish, rice, oysters, and whatever else you desire. Chicken or chicken tacos? Could be both. <laughs> uh, heat level, it says on here, is a 5 out of 10. But halfway up there, yeah. Label, so yeah. And it is supposed to be a witch on the label because it says on here, when they show the website things, it has a little thing that says a witching heat. So it's supposed a to witch be a witch in heat. A witching, oh, oh. a we, which is brew actually. To say a witch in heat, is something <laughs> that's a whole other bottle. different. <laughs> the Beltane bottle. <laughs> oh, it came out pretty easily. Over there. So we've got spoons to try first. Then we get to try some a little bit of chicken. See how it tastes on the chicken. Burp the bottle, burp the bottle. Yeah, I notice this one is like really thick. Looks like a thick boy. What's it smell like to you? Barbecue sauce. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Very very much of a barbecue consistency. It's almost like barbecue chip sauce. Like it, it smells like a big bag of barbecue chips. Thump, thump, thump. Come in. It's got a giant plug in it. Oh. Uh, just be, I was going to suggest using the knife, but yeah. <laughs> That's one way to get it on your spoon. Do you want me to go get a nappy? No, no, we're good. Okay. I'll clean that up after. <laughs> yeah, because you can't ruin it before you taste it. 
It is thick. I think it's a, it's the plug. That's the issue. Here. Did you try shaking it yeah, down? Yeah, now that I've opened it up a bit. I just don't want to put this down. Oh, yeah, I heard it plop. Okay. Let's make sure it's out of there. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Maybe. Careful. Oh, you want to wear it? Put the spoon down and try tapping it that way. Like this? No, no. I mean, I'm, I could put put the spoon on the table. So if it does start to pour, you're not all over the place. Because you can do it a little bit harder that wow, way. Wow, it's so thick. <laughs> <laughs> not even going to say anything on that one. Okay, well, I got, I got a good amount on there. I have a goodly amount. Good luck. <laughs> See? Like, I can flip this all the way over. It's not going anywhere from the spoon. How much did you get? Oh, you're going for the whole bunch. I'm going for a little bit. You might be able to pour a little bit off the other side now. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> thick! I think this is like the thickest hot yeah. sauce. It really looks, it's as thick as like tomato paste. Okay. That's that's as good as I'm getting. Wow. Do you want the lid back on for now? No, no, leave it off for now. I, I think if the, we accidentally spill it, it's not going anywhere. It actually smells really good. It's got almost like a hickory smell to it. Well, it said that it had smoked. Like, you can smell the smoke. Yeah, the smoked habanero. Yeah, so that's probably why it's so barbecue smelling. It smells really good, though. I wish it was more liquidy, because this is going to yeah. be hard to... It's going to be like eating paste. Cheers. Oh, it is more tomatoey than I thought it was going to be. It's very... Not bad, though. No, it's good. But it is very thick. Mm -hmm. It's got... If you're buying tomato paste out of a can to do... Into... Oh, yeah. Whatever, like, it's, it's super, like, eating... That's literally what... Texture-wise and thickness. It's like eating some pasta sauce straight from the jar or something. Yeah. But right. It's got a nice heat. It doesn't last long. No. The tomato lasts a long time. Okay. Good luck getting it on there. Getting one of those Heinz commercials. There we go. We got a blob. <laughs> We're just clearing out the neck right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you could hear that. <laughs> there we go. All right. Cheers. Almost non-existent. Mm -hmm. Well, you can taste it, but the heat is gone. Well. I taste a little bit of tomato paste, and that's it. Yeah, on the chicken. There wasn't much heat to begin with. No. With this one. But having it straight, you had a little bit of it at first, and then. Yeah. But boy, that is so thick. Like you almost would need to like thin that out. <laughs> We're number one. We're number one. You feel the whole house shaking on that one, and it's plugged right back up again. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely a super thick sauce. Yeah, I think that's the thickest hot sauce I've seen. Yeah. She's a thick one. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos coming out. We're going to go on to the next one here. Hopefully not as thick. I don't think it is. It doesn't this look as thick. This one is called Heat Stroke. Oh, should I look that one up? This one's got... Almost Phantom of the Opera kind of image on the front. The guy's screaming with a green uh, holographic image. A lot runnier on this one, which is a good thing. Yeah, because with a hot sauce, you want to be able to get it out of the bottle. Um, if you have to fight that hard to get it out. Okay, so pretty much the same beginnings. Um, during my travels, I've experienced a variety of authentic cuisines.
Yeah, I think that's probably just uh, the unique uh, flavors. Flavor text. Globally experience. Yeah. So this one is the. Okay, so this one says it was done in Brampton, Ontario. So oh. maybe they moved locations. Maybe that's why this one isn't available on their website. So if you look up this yeah. one, the heat stroke, if you're looking them up online, you have to look it up separately. Yeah. Actually, I, I've had to pull this up from a separate one. Um, I think it has the same ingredient list, though. Habanero peppers, carrots, onions, garlic, vinegar, Indian pale ale, ginger, cumin, and coriander. Water, vinegar, onion, carrots, beer. Yeah. Lemon or lime juice or lemon juice, I should say. Habanero pepper, garlic, ginger, cilantro, and spices. It contains wheat. Okay, so it's slightly different, um, but not not much so. I think I'm getting better at these. <laughs> or at least some of these ones are getting easier. You can have a collection. So this one, as you can tell, the bottle is not completely full. No, but maybe that helps a bit because it's a lot. Yeah, they might have just filled those a little too much. And the set, the way it was, the combination just doesn't settle that much. Yeah. But this one definitely is a lot uh, thinner. So go ahead and get yourself some. Oh, yeah, you can. Completely different smell than the other one. This one's a lot more fruity. Fruity tooty. Okay. Do, 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 do. There is a bit of a plug in it. It's just because it's a mash. It's hard to get the clumps. Okay, you know, that's what I'll go with for now. <laughs> yeah, the sauce is... That have more of a mash. Sometimes it just oh, yeah, it definitely up. does have a because I got mostly the beginning liquid. I, I'm glad you got these spoons that are really long. It's like whoa, <laughs> 3D. Woo -wee. It's coming right at you. Instead of smell o vision, it's heat o vision. Yeah, we got about the same. Yeah, thing. more of the liquid than we'll have the rest on there. It smells really good though. Cheers. Again, not, no real heat, but... Interesting, Bright. Interesting taste. A little bit of delayed heat. A little acidic, but... Uh, yeah, but that bright. could just be awesome because we're just getting the, the liquid. Yeah. Not the mash. Um, I don't... Is this one supposed to be hotter than the last one? It's a little bit hotter. Because it doesn't taste it. But if the other was a five, this might be a six. According to their... Or five and a half. Yeah. <laughs> it's not much. Yeah, because the heat's almost like all gone. Okay. I'm literally just getting liquid again. <laughs> Careful, you might get a blotch coming out. But it would soak right into the chicken. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm just going to try and soak my chicken. Almost, gives it almost like a lemon chicken kind of mm -hmm. citrus bit to it. It's a lot fruitier. Like, it, it's got a nice fruity, is that just from the lemon and lime, maybe? It's just lemon juice. Is it just I much better, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's to, nice, but it's not hot. more of the mash. Yeah. Because I certainly wouldn't call it hot, hot. Like, I don't even know if that would factor into some of the mild sauces we've had. But it's good. I mean, it, it's a lot less tomato. Okay, it's got a little bit of mash in that one. Hard to get it. Uh oh, there we go. I'll just take a whole block. Completely different taste with the mash. <clears throat> There's more heat. That just means that the mash must be more yeah. of the habanero. It's a good, pleasant heat, though. Yeah. Well, habanero is a very fruity pepper, so they they yeah they put it right to have it in with kind of like a acidic fruity. 
it still got a little bit of a uh, tingle on the tongue, like not in an unpleasant way. No. But a, a taste good combination way. There's like a battery acid flavor to it, though. I don't know. I don't. I haven't tasted battery acid before. I know. Whatever you're into, it's <laughs> whatever you're into. It's very acidic. <laughs> Yeah, so they're, they're decent uh, sauces. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I've had a lot worse. Yeah. And I've, I've, I wouldn't uh, hesitate to throw them in on stuff. No, so again, it's Salem's Lot, scary hot sauces. Um, this one might be hard to find. <clears throat> they are, I don't even know if where I got them still has them or not. Like, yeah. I know they got the other ones, that one I'm not sure on. So Hallucinate the Heat, which was about a five. And then Heat Stroke. Which I would guess a 5.5 or a 6 possibly. They're pretty close on the label, but it does appear to be a little bit higher on that one. Yeah. I mean, I I think on our heat scale, it'd be a lot lower oh, I, than a 5 or a 6. See, this one I would put maybe at a half. Maybe that one might hit a 1. Yeah, I'd say a 1, 1 and a half. So I'd probably go a little bit Only higher because than because you can taste it. Like you can feel the bit yeah. of a tingle, but it's not... But that's mainly if you're having it straight. Yeah. If you're having it with chicken, this has no heat at all. No. This one, a little bit, but not not noticeable yeah. much. I've had potato chips with more instant type heat than off of these. The yeah, I've sauces, had raw jalapenos hotter. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. They're really good sauces. Yeah. Um, I should say sauce and paste. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wallpaper paste there. But yeah. Um, they are available to check them out on Instagram. Yep. Yeah. At Salem's Hot Sauce, or Salem's Hot Sauces. I'm not sure if they're available on anything else. I haven't checked them out yet to find yeah. out, but if I do, I'll have links below. Um, but yeah, these are definitely a couple of the interesting sauces. Not a bad flavor combination. No. I don't know if I'd want to combine them. That would be a really weird combination. Yeah, tomato <laughs> and lemon. Well, I mean, some Italians, but no. Yeah. Those Italians, you never know what them. They make some good food. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, so on that note, um, we're going to conclude this video. Stay tuned for the next one because we've got more chicken and more sauces. But we don't want to throw all our eggs into one basket because... All our nugs into one basket? We want the chicken, not the eggs. That's true. <laughs> you know what to do. Check out the uh, other media. Subscribe. Do all that kind of stuff. Enjoy yep. the heat. Stay spicy. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, these are... Spoon war. Your spoon may be bigger than your mind, but... I have to high ground it again! No! <laughs> it fits. He burned up at the end. Spoiler <laughs> alert! Oh, yeah! That's if they haven't seen it. <laughs>